I'm Michael O'Donnell, and this is Ripkin the Bat Dog. So the idea with Ripkin came from when I was playing baseball. I stopped playing baseball after college and really wanted to get back into the sport and got into dog training and thought what a better way to, to showcase what we do at Sit Means Sit than have my best friend retrieve baseball bats for the local teams. We started Ripkin out at eight weeks old retrieving miniature novelty bats. As he got older, he actually started retrieving my college bats that I used and then uh, led us to the Holly Springs Salamanders where we got our start as the bat dog. Gained a lot of popularity out in Holly Springs and the Bulls kind of saw that and called him up to the big leagues after his first season with the Holly Springs Salamanders. Well, we had, we had never done this before, so we didn't know what we didn't know. Because when somebody tells you that the dog is gonna go pick up bats and bring it back, the initial thought is, well, how wet is the handle gonna be? How slobbery, how slick? Like, what are all these issues that we're gonna have? Um, turns out, no slobber. Like, really, really good. So it's uh, things like that you don't think about. Uh, we started to think about because you had to. Like, well, how is this gonna work out from a player's perspective? I'll admit I was a little nervous at first, but I knew that our practice, we had put a year's worth of practice into what we were doing. I started with metal bats and glass bottles, believe it or not, um, to really teach him to pick things up softly. So I'd say I was more nervous than Ripken was. He was just out there fetching big sticks to him. <laughs> He is a member of the team. Having that be a part of the show, be a part of the game, uh, has been a really cool part for the players uh, where they get to interact and they get to see it. Some of the players come up and pet them before an at bat or get kisses from them for good luck charms. They've really embraced Rifkin out there and they've even said they wish he could come on the road with them sometimes. We put practice in every single day. You know, people always ask me, how long did it take you to train Ripkin? And my answer is always, I don't know. Because every day I do a little something with them, whether it's obedience drills, retrieving drills, directional drills, you name it. We practice something just about every single day. He never really gets a day off, but in his mind, he's just going out to play. So he doesn't mind it. Well, really, Ripkin's personality from the get-go was just a very happy, playful dog. I knew he was going to be perfect for the role because you can't pet him enough. I mean, you, you bring him out of the stands from uh, retrieving bats all game and you'd think he'd be tired and exhausted and all he really wants is a kid to come up and lick their face or we have a baseball card with his face on it and um, we'll sign autographs on on the card hand out to all the kids and the adults love it too. Ripken's job is more than just fetching bats. His job is to uh, be a crowd pleaser. We like to share things with our fans. We like something new every year. We like different twists and turns and this is something that the fans really engage with and love, and we love. We love having Ripken here. It kind of brings that extra energy to this to the stadium. TikTok, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, you name it, Ripken's got it. Videos go viral. We've had a couple hit the three million mark. We've made ESPN, The Independent, over in Europe. Golf Digest has done a story. It's been a crazy ride thinking that all these people know my dog. That's to me my pet. Ripken will be at every Saturday home game this year, so we'd love for more fans to come. If he could have a sellout crowd at every game, he would love it. The journey's been crazy, but seeing how much fun my dog has and how um, his tail doesn't stop wagging. I tell everyone I think it's sore the next day because he's so happy to be out here. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. <laughs>